So one of the biggest issues I find being a photographer and videographer is that inspiration can sometimes feel like a finite resource. And by that I mean when I go outside to take photos, I sometimes can't find anything that interests me. Now I used to chalk that up to me just not finding anything, but more often than not, as I got better, I noticed that it's just me not being creative enough. Uh, hold, hold on, I gotta sit down to talk about this one. Ugh. Okay. One really cool trick that I've learned to take better photos is I actually go on Instagram and you can search up hashtags of different things. Things between like autumn foliage or just autumn in general, winter foliage, snow, and those different hashtags are aggregating information that other people have posted to Instagram. And what you can actually do with that is you can save that content and create little collections and folders so that you can reference those photos. Because as artists, that's what we do. We find other people's content and we find a way to take our own spin of it. That's why we have remixes, that's why we have stylizations, and doing that not only helps you better your craft, but it actually makes you a better artist as a whole. Personally for me, that's how I got better at composition and editing, because I was able to see the way people shot the photos, and not just from a few artists that I like, but from hundreds of different people, and just kind of pull ideas from each one of them to incorporate into my own style. Even trying things that you're not interested in will be really great for you to grow as an artist because you'll be experimenting and learning about different crafts and that might actually help your style as well. So I had this really cool idea today and it actually came from this conversation that I had with one of my friends where during winter break he's very bored at home, he has nothing to do and I told him, I was like, why don't you just go out and take photos? He told me that he couldn't find anything interesting because he lives in a very backwoods area where it's just dead trees and leaves on the ground and there's only so many leaf photos that he can take. Personally, I don't agree with that anymore and I did tell him that, but at the same time, I feel like it's better to show someone than just to tell them. And I also wanted to do it as a challenge to myself to show that I have progressed as an artist and that I can do different things with the same photo. So I've come out into this backwoods area and I'm going to try taking as many different photos as I can using dead leaves and just trees that have nothing on them. All right, cue B-roll. It is really cold, <laughs> but that's about it. I'm going to show you the photos that I chose. They're fully processed right now. Hit subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I upload because I'll be uploading a second video that kind of shows the work that it took to get to these photos in Lightroom. I hope I was able to help some of you guys out and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.